broadcast of Youth League Baseball on RTC TV 4. Tonight's contest is between the Pony League Orioles and Argus Gold. I am Becky Malko doing commentary along with my sister, Abby Malko, who is filming and providing color commentary. First up to bat is the Argus Gold, and the pitcher for the Ar Orioles is Grant Bailey. The first batter for Argus Gold is number 10, Braddock. On deck is number 13, Willie. Here comes the first pitch. Play ball. We have a ball as the first pitch. The catcher for the Orioles is Olivia Bailey. We have a brother-sister duo in the circle and behind the plate. Second pitch on the way. Oh, swing. Win a miss. That's all right. He's still got two more strikes. Pretty good swing. The pitching machine looks to be set a little high. I think the Argus Gold pitching coach is going to take a look at that, see if they can fix that. Tonight, we are fortunate enough to be playing. We had a few showers right before the game, so thankfully we have started it. Hopefully we can get the whole thing in. Pitch number three. We got a ball. Good eye. Just enough rain to wet down the field, cool off the air just a little bit. It's a pretty good night to play baseball. Agreed. It's not too muggy. It's just perfect. Here comes the next pitch. Oh, foul ball over the backstop. Run into first. He's got to turn around. Got a good piece of it. Looks like they fixed that machine. It's got a little lower now, getting more in the strike zone. Pretty low strike zone for all these small kids out here today. For sure. We have our uh, defense trying to throw off the batter, yelling batter. S oh, strike three. We have one out here for the Orioles. Next up to bat for Argus Gold is number 13, Willie, and on deck, number eight, Dominic. We had a loose ball, we had to go retrieve that. So. First pitch we watched go by for a ball. Shortstop does a good job backing up the pitcher as he runs in there on the pass ball. Indeed, look at that hustle. Pitch number two. Oh, a shot to left field. Oh, past the left fielder. Number eight's gonna round. He's gonna go to second. We have the throw from the left fielder coming into second. Oh, past the second baseman. We're rounding second. Shortstop gets the ball, looks him back, gets it back into the circle. So a double for number eight, Dominic. Number 13 is actually not the batter we just saw. We just saw Dominic hit. So very nice hit for number eight. Maybe a little bit of a lineup change right before the game. Yep. Switching things around, they saw in batting practice. So, ball one on the third batter. Like we said before, a small strike zone with these short kids. The poor shortstop had the ball bounce over his head. I know. He isn't quite four foot tall. It was a nice hit though. And then on the second pitch here, we have a swing and a miss. So we have a count of one and one. Oh. Pitcher trips as he heads back to the mound. Pitch number three comes in. Oh, big swing. Just pulled his head a little bit. Oh, we have a timeout here. The catcher looks as if she had gotten hit. That is Olivia Bailey. I Get think, hit in the hand maybe on the foul ball. I think that that might be the case, yes. The coach is talking to her, kind of calming her down. She, she got up. All the Oriole boys are taking a knee yep. for their injured Very nice catcher. Sportsmanship. Pretty tough girl behind the plate, I think, playing on a team of all boys, and she's the starting catcher. I agree. That is a statement right there. We um, Also on the pitch, it looks like the number eight, Dominic, that was on second base, is now on third. Stole so the base on the pitch. He stole the base on the pitch, yep. The Orioles look to be a little shy of players as well. So our catcher, you said Olivia Bailey behind the plate, shake off her pitch because she does not have any subs on the bench tonight. Yep, so she's putting her helmet and her mitt back on and 
She's gearing back up to get out there. Good to go. Everyone gives a hand. The Very nice. tough player behind the plate. Here we go, back in action. I believe this is pitch number five. Swing, strike three. So that will be two outs here. We still have a runner on third, two outs. Two outs, the Orioles can get out of a jam here with one more out. But if they hit the ball like number eight, then the Argus Gold will score a run. We could be on the board. So now up is number four, Jackson. First pitch, seeing it go by, we have ball one. Just wanted to see what the pitch looked like, I think, before he took his swing. Good choice Good on the idea. first at bat. See what the pitching machine is throwing to you. Swing and a miss on pitch number two. We have a lead off on third. Oh, we're going home. Number eight is going home. There goes Dominic, and we are on the board here. Argus Gold is up 1-0. Good heads up play by the runner on third base to see the pass ball and score a run for Argus Gold. Another swing and a miss by number four, Jackson. No one is on base, so it's up to him to put himself on and keep the rally going. Next pitch. Strike three, that is three outs, and we are going into the bottom of the first with a score of one to zero. Argus Gold is up. And we are back. We have the first three batters for the Orioles. Olivia Bailey, number six, Grant Bailey, number 10, and Clarence Garrett, number 11. So here comes the first pitch for the Orioles to Bailey. Looking at it, it's a ball. So we have ball one here. Olivia Bailey doing well in the first inning. She maybe got a small injury on a foul tipped ball or a pass ball, but shook it off and ready to bat. So on the second pitch, she has a strike, a swing and a miss. Pitch number three on the way. Oh, a fly ball to the third baseman. Oh. Misses it, so she's on first base. We have our first runner for the Orioles. Lead off single. Good job by Olivia. The Orioles had pretty good defensive inning, just one hit allowed, but after a few errors, the runner ended up on second base and ended up scoring. So the Orioles have a chance to return on the board. The pitcher in the circle for Argus Gold is number seven, Zane. Up to bat now is Olivia Bailey's twin brother, number 10, Grant Bailey. Let's see if he can move her around. The first pitch, we had a foul ball. Pitch number two here. We're getting some coaching advice from third base coach over there. And pitch number two. Nice line drive to right field. Number six, Olivia is rounding third. And Grant is on third. So we have, we have, are on the board here for the Orioles. We have tied it up in just the first two batters. And great line drive by Grant Bailey, sending his sister all the way home from first base. When she went home, he was smart enough to make the play and end up on third base for a triple, just the second batter of the inning for the Orioles. Great at bat, great base running. It was just an all around great two at bats there. Got some brotherly, sisterly power coming up there for the Orioles. Third batter is Garrett, number 11. We have a strike one, but we still have no outs and a runner on third base, so Let's see what he can do here. Strike two. No balls, two strikes. The catcher is running back. Bailey, who is on third, getting him back to the base. He took a big lead. Good aggressive thoughts by Bailey on third base, trying to get himself another run. As well as the catcher to see that he was 
being aggressive and making sure he didn't score. Absolutely. Great on both job. parts. Next pitch. High. It was a little high. Good eye by the batter. He has two strikes on him, and he is still being patient, looking for his pitch, not getting too eager. Strike three for the third batter of the Orioles. Great swing, great swing for the batter. Just missed the pitch, a little high. That only makes it one out here, though, folks. Sit tight. We still might get that run in. Next batter, number 12, Refit. He squares around a bunt and he pulls back. Looks like they have a called strike on that one. Trying to move his teammate on third base, but couldn't quite get the job done. Great job by the Orioles, excuse me, the Argus Gold catcher with some good defense. Swing, oh, that was a nice swing. Just missed it. So you have two strikes. He's hitting that plate, getting ready. He is ready for this next pitch. Third pitch coming in. Nice hit. That's an overthrow to first base. So now we have a runner on first and he scored. Bailey, who was just on third. Overthrow to the pitcher, and now we have a runner on second base. So just one out here, and a runner on second, and we are, the Orioles are up. Pretty good play by the pitcher, just a low throw to the first baseman, but great job by the runner on second base to just put the bat on the ball to get an RBI for his team. Very well done. Two to zero, I mean two to one. Two to one, yes. We had first pitch ball. Next pitch on the way. Oh, a solid hit to second base. He fields it. He's going to toss it to first. Second out. Great play by Argus Gold. That was almost a bobble and a good toss, but the first baseman made a high stretch and got the out. And the second baseman did a really good job of hanging with it. Even though he bobbled it, he didn't give up. He just chased after the ball and got the job done. Yep. We have two outs now, and Jack Reffitt is on third base. See what number two shots can do. First pitch swing and a miss. One strike here. The score now is three to one. Second pitch strike. Two outs, runner still on third base. Let's see if we can get another RBI here for the Orioles. Next pitch on the way. Watch it go by, we have a ball. Good eye by the batter. Way to be patient, looking for their pitch. Another ball goes by for shots. Taking some practice swings, trying to get his teammate Reffitt in from third with two outs here. Three to one is the score. Argus Gold wanting a big out here to put themselves back in the dugout to hit. Swing and a miss for strike three. That is the third out. The Argus Gold is going back in the dugout to try and see if they can get their lead back. It's three to one. Bottom of the first. And we're back. We're going to get right into it. We had some practice pitches last couple innings, but I think we are going right into the batter. Up for the Argus Gold, we have number six, Corbin. Watch the first pitch go by for a ball. I'd also like to make the correction that the score is actually two to one, Orioles. The third runner was actually on third base and never got in. So a correction of two to one, Orioles are winning in the bottom, or the top of the second. 
Pitch number two. Solid hit. We have a runner on first for Argus Gold, a leadoff single. A little celebration dance at first base by the batter. Good hard hit, a well-deserved dance at first base, in my opinion. I agree. Next up to bat is Mecky, number nine. The Orioles very vocal on defense, yelling at the batter, trying to mess with them. A little distraction is always helpful. Oh, another solid hit. We have a throw by the pitcher. Pass ball. Runners advancing to second and third base. Third guy on third is trying to lead off. He gets walked back to third base, so now no outs for Argus Gold. With a runner on second and third, they are down two to one, hoping to get their lead back. A good battle by both teams into the second inning. No outs, now up to bat. Number 12, Tommy. Swing and a miss on the first pitch. Shortstop was there to back up that throw. Great job by the shortstop backing up every throw and only a few of them count. That way that runner from third doesn't get the chance to score because he'll be there to throw him out if he does. Third pitch on the way. Watch that one go by for a ball. Runner still on second and third. Hopefully Tommy can score his runners and keep the rally going. Because we have no outs here. A swing and a miss for strike three. So that gives us one out in the top of the second. Runners on second and third. And the Argus Gold is down two to one. Number two, Owen is up to bat now. Hoping to get some RBIs here for his team. Ball one on the first pitch. Pitch number two. Swing and a miss, strike one. Lots of chatter from the Orioles still. Very involved in the game, even on defense. Swing and a miss for pitch number three. So he has two strikes on him now. Runner still on second and third, hoping to get around. Watch that ball go by. So we have a uh, two balls and two strikes. Still have a chance to score those runners. There's only one out. Orioles defense needs to tighten up here if they wanna get out of this jam. Another ball goes by. <laughs> Foul balls. He's staying alive. He had a 3-2 count, and he had to swing, and he at least made contact so he can get another pitch. Very good battle. Did our catcher get hit again? It looks she's, like she's getting beat up back there. Maybe checking out her elbow or her wrist on the foul on ball. On the foul ball. She's a tough one though. Hanging tough back there. Catching is not an easy position no matter what your level. That is for sure. You have to be in the action every pitch. Mm -hmm. We're gonna She's gonna take a break, I think, for a second and calm herself down after getting nailed again with a foul ball. Catch your breath, wipe some tears. Good to go in a few minutes. Helmet is back on. Looks like she's ready to go. One tough cookie back there. I know I couldn't do it. Mm -mm. Tough job. See if he can stay alive for another pitch. Strike three. 
So we have two outs, runners on second and third. It is still two to one, Orioles are winning. Good so, heads up play that last inning, or that last at bat by the catcher. Pass ball, didn't let the runner score. Hopefully the Orioles can have some tight defense so that they can maintain their lead of just one run up. Next batter is number three, Sage. He watched that one go by. Pitch number two coming in now. Swing. Hit to the third baseman. He was looking at home to try and get that run at home. Just a little late. And then the runner on third was trying to lead off, but we had he, he had gotten back. So now we have runners on first and third. Tie game at two to two and two outs here for Argus Gold. Good heads up play by the pitcher, seeing that he couldn't get any outs to run back to the pitcher's mound as that's a rule in the Pony League. If the ball is in the circle, you cannot advance bases. So pitch number one there, we had number five, Tristan. Look at that pitch go by, so we have a ball one. Swing and a miss on pitch number two. Oh, there's that shortstop. See? Works every time. He's backing him up, and that runner on third could not advance. Very good backup. Poor Tristan looks like his helmet's just a little too big for him up to bat. <laughs> He's hanging in there. Watch that one go by for ball number two. Runner still on first and third, and we have a tie ball game here. The top of the second inning. Very solid hit. Past the left fielder. Oh. Runner around third is rounding. There's another score, and the batter is on third. He got a triple. Great job to clear Very the bases. Very nice. For such a little kid, that was a nice hit. Very nice hit. One or two throwing mishaps by the Orioles, and now they're in the lead. He got two RBIs on that, so we have a score of two to four. We are at number 14, Oliver, up to bat. And then we're going to be back to the top of the order here with Braddock, number 10, on deck. Foul ball. Way to make contact. Two outs, runner on third, two to four. A triple by Tristan, number five, pushed them over the Orioles. Next pitch coming in. Watch that one go by for a ball. Very nice eye. Another foul ball. Good contact. Not trying to swing for the fences here, knowing that he's got a RBI waiting at third base if he just makes solid contact. He needs to stay alive here so he can continue to battle and get another RBI for his team. Solid hit to the third baseman. RBI single. Like we said, some good contact. A pop fly just out of everyone's reach. Scores a run. Argus still extending their lead. I'd say this is a really good two out rally. I would say so. We are back to the top of the order with number 10, Braddock. First pitch comes in. Watched it for a ball, good eye. He knew it was a ball before it crossed the plate, good eye. Two to five here. Argus Gold up. Swing and a miss for pitch number two. That's all right, we have a 1-1 count. See if we can, he can, number 10 Braddock can get his teammate Oliver around the bases. Orioles still working hard, hoping to get this last out to get some swings of their own. Strike two for number 10 here. Hey, you got time to watch one. 
Here we go, next pitch. He watched that one for a ball, good eye, very good eye. His teammate, only teammates on first base, so he'd have to have a, probably a triple, a really good hit to score him this inning with two outs. And solid hit. This might do it. Number 14, Oliver rounding third. And he did it. We have a slide into home for the sixth run for Argus Gold. That gives Braddock a triple and an RBI. Wow, lots of triples in this game just in the second inning so far. Pretty hard when you have two outs and your only base runners at first base to score them, but we've seen that a few times this game already. Next batter, the first pitch is a swing and a miss, and this is Willie. Looks like he showed up a little late, but he is up to bat now. Number 10, Braddock, scores on a pass ball, taking this lead two to seven. And I think that's the run rule for the inning. You can only score five runs, six runs per inning. And then it is the next team's time to bat. That helps the game speed up a little bit because there was nothing that was gonna stop the Argus Gold. They had a really good rally that inning. On two outs, too. Score is seven to two in the top of the second inning. When we come back, the Orioles will get a chance to rally back themselves and make the score a little bit closer. We'll be back. And we're back. The catcher, Willie number 13, was our last batter, so he took a little while to get his gear on and get back behind the plate. We have the first pitch here. Swing and a miss, strike one. Counts one and one on the batter. Landon Hazen is up to bat. This is his first appearance to the plate. Let's see what he can do. We have the third pitch on the way. Another swing and a miss, so that's strike two for Hazen. First baseman for the Argus Gold getting ready with his hat backwards on first base. His pants are all dirty from sliding in and scoring that run on a pass ball. Just a ball player right there. Looking at that for a ball two. The Orioles have only made it halfway through their lineup, while Argus Gold is going to be at the second batter for the second time of the game. Out number one for the Orioles there with a strikeout. That puts number eight Goodman up to bat. See if he can get the Orioles a base runner. Swing and a miss on the first pitch. It was a nice swing. You have an overthrow to the pitcher. The shortstop's got it though. Pitch number two coming in. Another swing and a miss. It looked to be a little high. The machine seems a little wacky. I think so. Every once in a while it'll go a little high. I haven't seen too many low pitches. I have not either. They're still making pretty solid contact, so maybe I just need to wait for their pitch. Maybe next time through the lineup. First time it's hard when you haven't seen the pitching machine for the day. You have to get used to it a little bit. That was the third pitch and we had a ball go by. So one ball, two strikes. Big hack. If you're gonna go down, you better go down swinging. And that's what the batter did. Two outs for the Orioles. We are in the bottom of the second. Seven to two, and your Argus Gold is up. Number four, Braden Calvert is up to bat now. First pitch, a swing.
for strike one. Calvert rounds out the lineup for the Orioles. Olivia Bailey is on deck, the leadoff batter for her team. Pitch two on the way. Another swing. We had another strike two for them, two outs. No base runners, but it only takes a few hits to get in a run there. Strike three for the third out for the Orioles. They are going to go back in the field and hopefully they're going to hold the Argus Gold so they can get back in the dugout and get their lead back. Quick inning for the Orioles as Argus Gold is up to bat. Score is still seven to two, heading into the top of the third. We have a few changes out here for the Orioles. We switched up our defense a little bit, see if that'll hopefully stop them from scoring. Our pitcher now is number 12, Refit. Olivia Bailey is still behind the plate. We have a new first baseman and second baseman. Also third baseman. Shortstop stays where he is, doing a great job backing up, just switching up the defense since the Argus Gold did score six runs in the last inning and most of them on two outs. Willie, number 13 up for bat, up to bat for Argus Gold. Foul ball in the first pitch. He was up to bat and then number 10 Braddock, his teammate, scored the run number six, causing them to have to go play the field due to the run rule. Run rule. So second pitch here. Watch it go by for a ball, good eye. This is his first appearance to the plate. And another foul ball, he is a fighter. That is a good hack. Two strikes on him. Another ball goes by, very good eye. That was a low pitch in the dirt. All these ball players doing a great job out here today. I think really good swings being in the Pony League. They really good fundamentals, just a fun game to watch. Young kids working hard. Nice solid hit to center fielder. Rounds first base. Rounds two and the ball was at second and still gets to third. Was there a no tag call? There was a yes, I don't think that he put the tag on him. Well, you don't see that often, but great aggressive running, another triple. Another triple, lead off triple. So there's no outs here in the top of the third. And we have Dominic number eight up to bat, who got a double last time up to bat. He is one of the seven runs. Very nice hit. Great line drive. He has an RBI single. Good job to lead off aggressively and once the ball goes past the pitcher, take second base. No outs. Now the score is eight to two, Argus Gold, and we have a runner on second base with number seven, Zane, up to bat. He is the pitcher for Argus Gold today. Next pitch on the way. Nice solid hit. Pass ball to first base. He rounds first and he is on second with the run scoring. So we have a RBI for Zane, making the lead two to nine, Argus Gold. Good play by the Orioles pitcher, just a little bit too high for the first baseman to handle. That was uh, Jack Reffitt, number 12. That is the new pitcher for this inning. Up to bat now for Argus Gold. Jackson, number four. On that pitch, we had a pass ball and 
Zane from second base scored. Two to ten. This is in a very this is a very aggressive Argus team. Scoring they, from second base on a pass ball. They are very aggressive and do not let down. A hit by for Jackson to left field. He's going to round one and go to second. We have a run down. Throws it to the pitcher and puts him back on first. Keeps him from getting a double, so now we have an, a single here for Jackson. Still no outs, 10 to two, Argus Gold. Good play by the Orioles to know that. Very heads up. Yes, to get it back to the pitcher when you get in a rundown, make the runner go back to where he came from and not to advance a base. Number six, Corbin is up to bat. He has a teammate. Jackson on first with no outs. Don't need anything special, special, just a base hit here. Pitch number two. Strike one for him. He had a check swing. And a little calmer earlier today as we had some rain, but now that the sun is poking out, it's getting a little windy out at the ballpark. Swing and a miss for strike two. The breeze feels nice though, at least it's not hot and muggy. No, it it's is. It's probably a... great for them to be playing in. It's been kind of hot the last couple of weeks, so. Really good afternoon. A hit for Corbin, number six. Advancing his teammate to second base gets him a single. So this we... is our uh, first base dancer. This is his second hit of the game. and. Second celebration dance we've seen at first base today. Well deserving. <laughs> Next up, number nine, Mackay. Watch that first one go by for a ball. It is 10 to two, the top of the third. Argus Gold is leading the Orioles. Very nice swing. And a very nice stop by the shortstop. Heads up play. Wow. Very nice tag. We have one out. Runners on first and second. And I would say that was a great all around hit. It was an play. impressive swing by number nine. And the fact that the shortstop got in front of it and knew to tag the runner out in front of him was, like you said, great job by both teams all around. That gives us one out. Orioles down 10 to two. Still fighting, not backing down, and we have number 12, Tommy, up to bat. Ball one. Corbin's going to third. And number nine, Makai, is at second. Advances those runners on the pass ball. Good eye by Tommy. Next pitch coming in. Swing and a miss. Strike one, we have one out. Pitch number three, very solid swing. Pass ball, Corbin running in. Oh, <laughs> oh, they call, did he get out? Is that out number two? I think they called him out. Just shy of home plate? I, I think he got a little confused, thought that he was supposed to run back to third, just stopped shy of home a little bit, and the Orioles took advantage to tag him. So I didn't, he might have thought that it was a foul ball, and, oh. and he went to turn around, and it ended up being fair, so he was out. Common mistake. So that is strike three. I believe out. Is that out two then? Out number two, yes. Okay, okay, so we are still 10 to two. Nope, they are, they are going in the dugout. That was out number three, because we had the short stock tag, yep. the home plate tag, and then the strikeout. Yep. So that rounds up the top of the third, 10 to two, Argus. They extended their lead that inning, and we will be back to see what the Orioles can do. Leading off the bottom of the third is leadoff batter Olivia Bailey, number six. 
Ball one goes by. She had a single last, or the first inning, to start off her team, and she ended up scoring. She is one of the two runs. Solid hit to shortstop. Gets that into left field for a single. Way to start it off. Great throw by the center fielder all the way into the pitcher's mound. But like we said, Olivia started off the game with her and her brother back-to-back -back hits to have the very first run of the game, and she might do the same thing as well. Speaking of her brother, Grant Bailey, number 10, is up to bat now. He had a double last time. First pitch, foul ball, very nice solid foul ball. Great swing, like we said, all these young players here having really good swings and being very aggressive. Second pitch, swing and a miss, strike two. Bailey goes to second on the pitch. And she gets to third on that as well. Just a a pass ball to the pitcher. Very speedy girl on first base. Got a little confused about where the base was, but nonetheless, she made it there. She got there. Her brother doing a good job being patient. He has a chance to get another RBI. If he gets a hit here, he can score his sister to give them three runs on the board. It is 10 to two here in the bottom of the third. Argus Gold is up. Very nice hit. Nice backhand by the first baseman. And we have a single and an RBI. Great play by the first baseman, just no one to cover as he had some pretty good range to go grab that ball. So three to 10 now. Little by little, the Orioles will be getting their deficit. Minimized. Minimized, thank you. Strike one for number 11, Clarence Garrett. No outs here with a runner on first base. Let's see if we can move them around and Score some more runs. Second pitch. Watch to go by for a ball. Very good eye. It is 10 to three in the bottom of the third. Swing and a miss, strike two. Oh, pass ball. Center fielder's got it. Very nice backup. Good defense by the Argus Gold. Good eye by Garrett, number 11. He has two strikes on him, but he knew that wasn't his pitch, so he held off. Very nice hit. There we go. Now we have no outs with runners on second and first. And Refit, number 12, up to bat, who singled last time. Good hit by Clarence to move his teammate. Enable the next batter to get in a couple RBIs. Had a little fake bunt going there. Good job to pull back on the ball. We have a loose ball on the field. There. We got Chappy Goodman got that for him so no one got hurt. Got away from the bullpen, eh? Swing and a miss. Strike one for Refit, number 12. Strike two, runners on second and first. With no outs here in the bottom of the third, it is 10 to three, Argus Gold up. Let's see what number 12 Refit can do. Good eye. Two balls, two strikes. Jack had a single last time. 
hoping he can get an RBI and move his teammates around the bases. Nice hit. Looks like he's gonna get an RBI for his team, putting the score 10 to four. Good job by the Orioles to not have crazy base running. There wasn't a chance there to be aggressive, so they did a good job staying safe. Very smart coaching and base running by the Orioles. Next up to bat, Mullen Cup number 13. First pitch hit, very nice to the center fielder. RBI, that scored Clarence Garrett. And we still have Jack Reffin, number 12 on second base. Five to 10, they are slowly maintaining or getting their sc score back. The Argus, Argus Gold still has a good lead, but like you said, the Orioles are gaining some momentum. There are no outs here with number two shots up to bat. Same situation, runners on first and second. Still no outs. Watched ball one go by. Advanced to the runner on the pass ball. So now we have runners on first and third. Good backup by the first baseman for Argus. Pitch number two on the way. Swing and a miss. Very solid swing. Number two, Kale Schatz is up to bat. Very nice swing for strike two. Just needs one more. If the Argus Gold wants in one out, and you get a strike here on number two. Another ball. Two and two is the count. Runners on first and third, no outs. Bottom of the third, 10 to five. Argus Gold is the leading. Foul ball. I love the enthusiasm from the Orioles dugout. They yep. have a chant going on, very in sync. When they're on defense, they're yelling at the batter, and when they're in the dugout, they're cheering on their own team. Very good uh, team spirit by the Orioles. That was a very nice battle by Shots, number two, just shy of hitting the ball. So we have one out here, runners on first and third. <laughs> I think the Argus Gold oh. team was wishing it was the third out, but <laughs> perhaps they miscounted as that was only the first. Got a little antsy. I wish it worked that way. You could just run into the dugout <laughs> when you wanted it to be your third out. <laughs> Next up to bat, number seven, Landon Hazen. Strike one. The first pitch. A pass ball could get the Orioles another run. Just down by five now as they gained a few this inning. Foul ball, very nice. Getting a piece of the ball there. Looks like he's timing it now. Pitch number three on the way. Ball, very good eye. It's a little outside, low. Argus Gold catcher doing a good job of stopping most of these pitches. He has two strikes on him. Next pitch coming in. Very nice hit. Good back to make contact. Wow. Very great play <laughs> by the Argus Gold. A backhand and a nice throw. Number seven, Hazen.
and slid into first, and it was a very close play. That was a uh, backhand to a rocket throw by number seven, Argus Gold. The Great. Orioles did get an RBI off of that, so they have a six to 10 score now here. We are only down by four. They started the inning off two to 10, I believe. I would, yep, I think so, four in this inning. Goodman, number eight is up to bat with a runner on second. We have two outs now. Chappie Goodman up to bat for the Orioles, hoping to keep this momentum alive. We have a foul ball. And our runner gets to third. Oh. Rounds, is he gonna get home? He did make it all the way home. It looks like it. So now we have eight to seven to 10, my mistake. And Gavin Mollenkup ended up scoring from second base. Ball for Goodman. He has one strike on him. Strike three for Goodman. That is the third out for the Orioles. They will go back out on the field, hopefully hold Argus Gold as they just took their two to 10 down to seven to 10. Starting the fourth inning, we will be back to see Argus Gold up to bat. We are back starting off the top of the fourth inning. Grant Bailey, number 10, is back in the circle for the Orioles. And Jack Reffitt is now at first base. Everything else looks to be about the same. Just changing it up a little bit. First up to bat. First pitch on the way. Good swing, strike one. This is number two, Owen. Owen up to bat for the Argus Gold. Strike one on him. Second pitch. Ball, good eye, good eye. He's going to lead off the top of the fourth. See if he can get Argus Gold a base runner. Strike two on Owen. The Orioles managed to score five runs last inning creating a close game here in the top of the fourth. We've seen a couple rallies by both teams throughout this game and a couple momentum swings here and scores only 10 to seven. With still plenty of game left to play. At any moment, it could change again. Two strikes on number two. Another ball comes in, good eye, being very patient. Very nice job of being able to pick up the low pitch and knowing not to go for it. Strike three for Owen to lead off the top of the fourth. Now up to bat number three, Sage. One out for the Orioles. I think this was the part of their lineup where they went on their two out rally a few innings ago. The bottom of the lineup was really carrying the Argus Gold team. Foul ball over the backstop. Strike one. We looking for a, there comes the ball. We ran out of balls. I think we had to have someone throw one back in. Good job from the stands, making sure you return those ball. I don't think you get a slushy, but you just do it for fun anyway. There you go. Watch the ball come in, good eye. 
Again, number three, Sage, up to bat. We have a one out, 10 to seven in the top of the fourth. The Argus Gold still leads. Foul ball, Good very nice foul drive. ball. Got to straighten that out and that'll be a really nice hit. He has two strikes on him. Next pitch coming in. Foul ball, what a fight. Really good battle up to bat. A couple foul balls, not the pitch he wants, but waiting for the pitching machine to put it right where he wants it. Way to stay alive. We've seen a lot of great battles up to bat for both teams tonight. Another solid line drive foul ball to the third base line. Should straighten that out in just a few pitches. I have a feeling as many pitches as he's seen, he's gonna get a good hit. There we go. Throw by the pitcher. Safe, very nice play. Sage slid into first to make sure he was gonna get there in time. Try and get there a little quicker. Good hustle play. Number five, Tristan up to bat. He had the triple and two RBIs last at bat. This is when we got a lot of runs, when the Argus Gold got a lot of runs. One out, top of the fourth. Swing and a miss for strike one for Tristan. Strike two for number five. He had a triple last time and two RBIs, like I mentioned, so he's has the potential to get his teammate Sage around the bases. There we go, there's a solid hit. Very nice play. Great hustle play by the Orioles. Had to charge the ball pretty hard, it was a shallow hit. They made a good play and a good stretch by the first baseman. And Sage was trying to get to third, but they got the ball to the mound too early and he had to go back to second. We have two outs and a runner on second base with number 14, Oliver, up to bat. Oliver had a single and an RBI last time up to bat. Very good swing, strike, and Sage, number three, is on third base, getting him really close to scoring. Next pitch coming in for Oliver. A diving play by the pitcher to try and tag out Number three, Sage, with success. He tagged out Sage at home plate for the third out with a dive. Great. That was great heads up play. Great heads up play, great hustle play. That takes us to the bottom of the fourth inning. 10 to seven, Argus Gold in the lead. Leading off the bottom of the fourth, Number four, Brayden Calvert for the Orioles. First pitch foul ball. Very nice contact. Hoping to lead off the bottom of the fourth with a base runner. Orioles are cheering him on in the dugout. Strike two. The Argus Gold still has the lead by three runs. Let's see what the Orioles can do. Calvert had two strikes on him and is still battling by fouling that pitch off. It's not what he wanted, but he knew he had to make contact. Yeah. 
next pitch for Calvert. Strike three, giving the Argus Gold one out to start the inning. We have our leadoff batter, Olivia Bailey, number six up to bat. She has gotten on both times, and she has scored both times she has been on. Also the catcher for the Orioles doing a really good job this game. She has had some incidents behind the plate by getting hit, but she has stayed in there and stayed tough. Watch the first pitch go by for a ball, good eye. Taking some practice swings. Nice hit, foul ball. Very hard hit foul ball. She straightens that out. That'll give her a nice solid hit for their first base runner, the inning. Next pitch on the way. Strike two. Good swing by Olivia, very aggressive up at the plate. She's the only girl on the team, so it's gotta be pretty intimidating playing against all these boys, but she's doing a great job. She gets a hit. She is on first base. First base runner of the inning. One out, seven to 10, bottom of the fourth, Argus leading. And number 10, Grant Bailey up to bat. Olivia is three for three this game. And her brother is two for two up to this point with a double and a single and two RBIs. Hopefully he can move Olivia around. Big swing, just missed it. Strike one. But Olivia got to third base on that pitch. Very nice base running by number six. Grant Bailey up to bat, next pitch on the way. Very solid hit for him again. The pitcher just fumbles the ball a little bit and that gives Grant Bailey a single and his sister is still on third base. Runners on first and third, bottom of the fourth, 10 to seven. Argus Gold still leading. Number 11, Garrett up to bat. Strike one. Runners will advance on the pass ball. Olivia gets back to third because the pitch was towards her way, but that but Grant does get to second. Runners in scoring position, one out. Orioles are, are down by three in the bottom of the fourth. A ball goes by for number 11, Clarence Garrett. Foul ball, nice foul ball by number 11. He has two strikes on him. He needs to make contact to stay alive. Hopefully move his teammates around to put them up and getting closer to Argus Gold. Strike three for Clarence Garrett. That is two outs for the Orioles but we have seen a lot of two out rallies tonight. Anything can happen. Yes, lots of runners scoring from first base and lots of rallies, like you said. Jack Reffitt, number 12, up to bat now. He's gotten on both times. Ball one, squaring around and pulling back because he saw it was a ball. Runners on second and third in scoring position with two outs. Orioles still down by three. Solid hit by Jack. 
Solid play by the pitcher for Argus Gold. He's made a lot of great ground outs, good fielding and good throws. We'll be back with you starting the top of the fifth. The brother-sister duo of the pitcher-catcher for the Orioles have switched roles. We now have number six, Olivia Bailey, in the circle, and number 10, Grant Bailey, behind the plate. Very versatile. Taking some practice pitches and catches for the Orioles. We will have Braddock, number 10, leading off Argus Gold. They're winning 10 to seven in the top of the fifth. First pitch for this inning. Watches a ball go by. Braddock has had a triple and an RBI this game so far. Second pitch, strike one. Foul ball into the stands. Haven't seen a many foul balls go back behind the fence today. Very hard hit foul ball. He did hit a triple though. So he has some power behind his swing. Yes. We have the foul ball coming back in from a dad in the stands. Very nice. Next pitch on the way is a ball. Good eye. Very good hit by Braddock, number 10 for Argus Gold. He's going to second and he will get a double off of that hit. Very nice hit. Lead off double, no out here in the top of the fifth for Argus Gold. Number 13, Willie up to bat. Foul ball, he is the foul ball king. He has had at least two foul balls at every at bat. Very nice. Seeing the ball pretty well, getting lots of pitches and a good battle up at the plate. Pitch number two on the way for Willie. Watch that go by for a ball. We still have Braddock, number 10 at second base. There have been no pass balls for him to get over to third. Nice hit. Second baseman snags it, bobble. Single for Willie. And in goes Braddock for the 11th run for the Argus Gold. That makes it 11-7 here in the top of the fifth. Ball one. Runner on first base, no outs. Number eight, Dominic, up to bat. He had a double earlier and another solid hit right now. Gets past the third baseman, the shortstop grabs it and is running. Willie back to second. No outs, runner on second and third and Willie is getting to third on an overthrow to the pitcher. Nice slide into third. Runners on first and third now for Argus Gold. They lead 11 to seven in the top of the fifth. Giving them some cushions so when they go back in the field, they have a bigger lead over the Orioles. First pitch to number seven, Zane, is a ball. Swing and 
a miss for number seven. Good job by Grant Bailey. That's his second diving play, but I think they called him safe as he dove. The ball was knocked out from his hands. That gets Willie around to third on that. So that is a 12-7 lead by Argus Gold. Still a great play by Grant Bailey, the catcher. He has made a lot of solid heads up plays tonight. In my mistake, I think Willie number 13 was the one that just scored and Zane is on third base. Dominic number eight is on third base. Yep, you're correct. I stand corrected again. Swing and a miss for number seven, Zane, who is up to bat. No outs, 11 to seven, top of the fifth. Argus Gold leads with a runner on third base. Ball for Zane. Next pitch on the way. Foul ball, way to stay alive. Giving himself another pitch. Argus Gold going on a rally as they have no outs this inning. Very nice hit by Zane. Gets him an RBI. Scoring Dominic, number eight. Second baseman throws it to first. And Zane gets to second base. No outs, runner on two. 12 to seven. 13 to seven here in the top of the fifth. Number four, Jackson up to bat. Runner on two, top of five. A ball goes by for number four, Jackson. Swing and a miss by Jackson. Strike two. See if he can stay alive and foul the ball off. He did indeed. Grant has a nice effort of trying to catch his foul ball pop up. Just missed it. Have to put him back in the batter's box. He inched his way out with all those hard hacks up at the plate. Watch the next pitch go by for a ball. No outs for Argus Gold. The batter has a full count and a runner on second. Swing and a miss for strike number three. Out number one. But the runner advances from second base on the pass ball back to the pitcher to score the 13th run for Argus Gold. Number six, Corbin is up to bat. Corbin has the first pitch coming in. Ball, who watches that one go by? Good eye. There is one out and no one on base for Argus Gold. Corbin, number six, up to bat. Swing and a miss for strike one. Ready, 
foul ball, but good try. Lefty batter trying to get to first base quickly. Shortstop hustling after an overthrow. Very nice, back up. Another pitch comes in for Corbin. Very nice contact, just foul. Very nice hustle by number six. Would have beat it out, but it was just shy of the foul line. He has two strikes on him, no one on base. Makes solid contact to the first baseman. Out number two. Good job by the Orioles. First baseman beating the batter to first base for out number two. The Orioles need to get this third out here in order to get their at bat before the time limit rule comes into place. Number nine, Makai up to bat. There is no one on base for Argus Gold. With two outs, let's see if the Argus Gold can make a rally. He has a swing and a miss for strike one. He had a hit last time up to bat. Let's get himself on base and see what his team can do to get him around and get the, them on the board again. Watch as that ball go by. One ball, one strike. It's the top of the fifth here. Argus Gold leads 13 to seven. Swing and a miss by Mackay. Very nice cut. There are two outs, no one on base, and a one ball, two strike for Argus Gold. Good eye, good eye. Argus Gold had a seven to two lead and Orioles tried to get back to that, tried to get back after that lead, but Argus Gold has maintained that lead since they started on top. Mackay swing, strike three, third out. We are going into the bottom of the fifth 13 to seven, Argus Gold leads. Let's see what the Orioles can do in the bottom of the fifth. Lead off hit for the Orioles, number 13, Mullen Cup. Nice hard tag by the first baseman. On the round, when Mullen Cup was rounding first, great play by Argus Gold. Hit up the middle, they ended up cutting it off and the overrun of first base was stopped, and Mullen Cup was the first out of the inning. Now up number two shots. The Orioles, we are in the bottom of the fifth. It is 14 to seven. I think I told you it was 13 seven, my mistake. And the Orioles are just hoping to at least tie the Argus Gold to get into some more, to go into more innings so they can hopefully get back and win. The time limit rule goes into effect in two minutes. In the Pony League, you cannot start the next inning if it is after an hour and 45 minutes of play. So the Orioles need to keep this at bat rolling because it will probably be their last if they cannot score seven runs this inning. Number two shots has one ball and one strike on him. Hoping to get on base to score his team some runs. Very nice hit. Pitcher grabs the ball. Just shy of getting him at first. He holds on the throw so he doesn't overthrow it. So Shots does not get an extra base. So we have a single by Shots number two with number seven, Landon Hazen up to bat. Defensively, the Argus Gold is ready to go. They have their mitts out, knees bent, and they are ready to be fielding this ball so they can hopefully keep their lead. A double play here gets Argus Gold the win and a hit 
potentially up the middle could score the Oriole on first base. Their catcher has done a nice job of minimizing the pass balls for Argus Gold. Any pass ball could score a run and move number two shots around the bases, which Argus Gold does not want to do at this point. There's been a lot of pass balls for the Orioles, which resulted in a lot of Argus Gold runs at the beginning of the game. Hazen, number seven, up to bat. Hit to third base. Oh, pitcher gets it. Nice stop by the first baseman. And Shots is getting around the bases, and Shots is in for a 14 to eight score. There goes Hazen in an in the park home wow. run. Just what they needed to get them back into this game. It is now nine to 14 and they are slowly getting back. In the park home run. One of the more exciting hits of the night. Couple triples and even a home run we've got to witness this game. So the Orioles momentum is back in swing and they are ready to score a few more runs. Argus is ready to go knowing what a few errors can happen can do if you have a few errors what can happen and that is they cannot afford that with just a five run lead. Argus Gold still has some cushion they have one out one more out will probably give them a little more relief here and Argus excuse me the Orioles need to keep their hitting alive. Nice swing by number eight Goodman that gives him a one strike one out at bat here. He has no one on base. Hazen's hit cleared the bases for the Orioles. He watches that ball go by. Chappie Goodman with one ball, one strike. Good swing, short ball by the first baseman. The catcher gets it. An overthrow brings Chappie to second base. And that gets Chappie all the way to third base on one out. Nine to 14. And we have number four, Braden Calvert up to bat. Argus Gold falling apart a little here in this last inning. If the Orioles don't tie it up, it could be the last. Here comes Brayden, up to bat with one out. Bottom of the fifth, nine to 14. We have a runner on third. Swing and a miss by Calvert, number four. Strike two on Brayden. Just needs to make some contact here, hopefully get his teammate, Goodman, around and on home plate. And there, that's what he needed. Is he gonna get through first? He did, he has a single. And there goes Chappie to four. He is in. That makes it 14 to 10. And number four, Braden Calvert is on second base. Orioles, go. Orioles with a late game run here as there's been a few errors by the Argus Gold. Little by little, Orioles are maintaining and getting back their deficit. Oh, number four, Braden Calvert had to go back to first because they got the ball in the pitcher's mound before he before made it halfway. Made it there, yep. Olivia Bailey, number six, up to bat. She's our leadoff, and she has she's three for three. Hopefully, she can be four for four here and contribute more to this. 10 runs. There she's done it again. Great hit to the fence by Olivia Bailey. There goes Braden Calvert rounding third. Coach waves him on home and he does end up scoring. Olivia stays on second base. My goodness, it is 14 to 11 here in the bottom of the fifth. This is just 
incredible what the Orioles have done at the very end. Great comeback, and if I were to name an MVP of this game, I think Olivia Bailey would be in the runnings four for four with a smashing hit every time she has been up to bat. She has also pitched and she has caught. That's a very impressive game. Grant Bailey, number 10 up to bat, who has also had an incredible game, three for three with a double, a single, and RBIs. Hopefully gets his sister around. There's another solid hit by a Bailey. He's through first, there goes Olivia to third. First baseman tags Grant, but he has already made it through first base. So now we have a runner on first and third, one out. The Bailey brother-sister duo is on first and third looking to score. I think every time that they've been on base this inning or that this is game, correct. they've scored. We have Clarence Garrett, number 11, up to bat. Tying run is up to bat. Foul ball. He is due for a really great hit right here. He has made a lot of great contact, just hasn't quite put it in the right spot yet. Strong kid up to bat. Definitely could get himself a few RBIs and make this an even more exciting game. If we get Grant and Olivia in home, then that is only down by one in the bottom of the fifth. Absolutely. Another strong foul ball by Clarence Garrett up to bat. This is when it pays to be the home team when you have the very last at bat, even if the time limit has expired. We have two strikes on Clarence. The next pitch coming on its way. And there we go, another great hit by the Orioles. That scores Olivia Bailey, and it is 14 to 12. Great hit by Clarence. Orioles not giving up, and Argus not able to find an out this inning. Very great comeback. Jack Reffitt, number 12, up to bat, who has also done an amazing job tonight. He watches the first one go by for a ball. And there goes Grant. We have runners on first and third in scoring position. If we get Grant in, that only puts us down by one. Nice hit. Jack is out at one, but that is an RBI, and it is 14 to 13. And there goes Clarence tying the game up. Tying the game. The game is tied 14 all. And the bases have been cleared. I think Jack Reffitt was out on a bang bang play. But with that nice solid hit getting an RBI and a few overthrows, the game is tied. And that was the... That was the run rule, I believe. That was the run rule, so the Orioles were not able to score seven whole, any, or seven whole runs because of the run rule. And because of time limit purposes, this should conclude the game. So we'll have to see what the ruling is on this. Since the Orioles were not allowed to score any more because of the run rule, this could make this a little difficult since the time limit has expired. I don't know what the ruling would be here. What do you think? I. It looks like the Argus Gold is getting their helmets on, but you see the coaches are talking in the center. I think that they are discussing on the matter I think they are having a discussion. We will chat with the coaches and bring you back the conclusion right after this. After talking with the coaches, we have discovered that the inning started at a 14 to seven score and six runs is all that you can score per inning. That only makes it 14 to 13, Argus Gold on top. It was a great comeback by the Orioles and I applaud them for their effort. It was just an incredible game to watch, even though they didn't 
end up winning. It was a great game for both teams. So with the run rule of only six runs per inning and the time limit expiration, those rules ended up not working in the favor of the Orioles and they ended up losing the game. But all in all, I think it was a great Pony League baseball game to watch and we hope you can catch a few more this summer. It's been Becky Malko and Abby Malko with RTC TV filming the Pony League games, Orioles versus Argus Gold. Thanks for watching. See ya.